Hi, this is Luigi and I am a physiologist. Shortly, we will be talking about different aspects of anemia. Red blood cells contain an iron-rich protein called hemoglobin. Red blood cells and hemoglobin are essential for carrying oxygen to the various parts of the body and remove carbon dioxide. Anemia is a condition characterized by a deficiency of red blood cells or hemoglobin in the blood. Such deficiency decreases the ability to carry adequate amount of oxygen to the body's tissue, resulting in pallor and tiredness. Anemia can occur when the body does not produce sufficient amount of red blood cells or the red blood cells are destroyed faster than they are produced, or because of blood loss due to bleeding. Anemia can be caused by some conditions or chronic diseases, such as inflammatory diseases, cancer, or kidney disease. Other types of anemia include hemolytic anemias, in which the red blood cells are destroyed faster than the bone marrow can replace them. Anemias associated with bone marrow disease, such as leukemia, which affect blood cells production. Also, aplastic anemia, which is characterized by decreased production of red blood cells. And sickle cell anemia, which is an inherited condition in which the red blood cells have an abnormal shape and die prematurely, leading to a chronic shortage of red blood cells, and thalassemia caused by a faulty hemoglobin synthesis. Often, anemia is caused by a deficiency of certain nutrients, including iron, vitamin B12, and folic acid, which affect hemoglobin and red blood cells production. The signs and symptoms of anemia vary depending on the cause and may include fatigue, pale or yellow skin, weakness, cold hands and feet, dizziness, shortness of breath, irregular heartbeats, headache, chest pain, and low energy levels. Doctors diagnose anemia with blood tests and physical examination. If left untreated, anemia can lead to health and fitness problems, such as severe fatigue and reduced physical ability to perform daily tasks. Also, arrhythmias, which is a rapid or irregular heartbeat, and pregnancy complications. Also, severe blood loss results in acute severe anemia and can be fatal. And the sickle cell anemia can be serious and lead to life threatening complications. The doctor determines the treatment depending on the type of anemia. However, if anemia is caused by nutrients deficiency, a balanced diet can help prevent it. The diet should include a variety of foods and ensure adequate amounts of all nutrients. With regards anemia prevention, iron, vitamin B12 and folic acid are macronutrients especially important, and good sources include beef and red meat, lentils, beans, sardines, tuna, dark leaf vegetables, broccoli, cauliflower, and spinach. It should be considered that the body absorbs two to three times more iron from animal sources than from plant sources. Also, vitamin C is important to increase iron absorption. Some individuals, due to health conditions, reduced absorption, 
pregnancy or heavy menstruation or over the age of 65 can be more at risk of developing anemia and doctors and dietitians may prescribe supplements to prevent it. Alright guys, thanks for watching and bye for now.